Greetings one and all, Chris Courtney here, New Pragmatic Time for the Feedback Loop. We've got um, we've got a couple of things in today. Um, looks like we're living La Vida Figma. Yeah, that, that was weird. Um, but we're living in Figma today with Luigi and uh, Rebecca. So I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen and get this underway. Um, that's Luigi's Google Doc. Where's Luigi's thing? Oh, by the way... Um, in case you're wondering, I am still actively going through and sorting through the Design Jobs channel, um, and Job Talk continues to get updates. Um, feel free to jump in there. Um, I'm doing that for you subscribers so that you can get you can get a heads up on what I think the best jobs are that are actually coming through. Just be sure to check out Job Talk. Even if you don't have time to go to the Design Jobs channel and, and see everything that's being posted, I'm always going to pull out the highlights and put them here for you. Um, over here we have Luigi. And Luigi has... Let me hide my UI. Oh, by the way. Um, yeah, I wanted, to I wanted to show you this. Um, so last night I was, I was going through and figuring out some quick keys for Figma. And I found one that I didn't realize existed. And it is this option command plus. Do you see how it's like just making the interface gigantic? I didn't realize that I didn't realize that you could actually alter the entire size of, of the of the interface itself, like the, you know, the, the buttons here on the top, the the layers to the sides, the, the styles. Like all of that is option command plus and minus, minus shrinks it back down. Um, I always thought it was like just kind of static and you know small and like, like that and I never really thought much about it um, but in figuring out some quick keys for other things I found that one and I wanted to pass that along because I know that I know that not everybody has 2020 vision and you might you might open a, a tool like Figma and go oh my gosh that's super small how, how can I possibly read what's in those two columns that on the, in those uh, columns to the right and left and it's just oh well option command plus and you can adjust that and I realize it gives you a little less ca canvas but option backslash gets rid of those columns so that you can see what you're doing and I think that that you know that combination being able to grow it or shrink it as needed and then getting rid of the interface so that you can just see the canvas super helpful super duper helpful so I want to point that out um, you can also you know you can drag this a little bit um, can't drag it all the way over but just point, point that out anyway Luigi I'm gonna hide my my interface Luigi is here and he's been working on he's got his home page and again I really really love this Mackinac um, typeface I love the color combinations I like his yellow frankly a little better than my new pragmatic yellow uh, it's just got it's a little more muted. It's a little uh, richer, in my opinion. Not mine is so like mustard yellow. Um, it works really great with the green I have. I do not have this green. So, you know, t from a tone perspective, I would have to alter my green, and I don't really want to alter my green. I love my green. Um, and Luigi's green is nice, too. It's, it's got a little more blue to it. Um, but he's working on his sign-in pages. So here's sign-up, and kind of getting a sense of what sign up is like and here's log in and logins just like you know just kind of like you're on a page and it's a big modal um, I am wondering if we have do we have an option that shows us not that I not that I think you have to test this out Luigi um, but do you have an option I'm thinking thinking about your your future developers <laughs> Do you have an option that shows me what an error message is like? Like if I, if I didn't properly enter the password, is that? Because what I can't tell right now is it looks like it might show up underneath, but it also might show up out here. But it's kind of in this no man's land of is there enough space below? Is there enough space to the side? I don't really know. Okay. So I would I would like to have have a better idea of where an error message would show up in this instance. Um, you know I, I I do like the fact that we 
we get the um, we get some idea of like how it fills in. That's that's fine. Um, I also like I also like the fact that you know this is kind of a muted um, it uh, muted green, indicating that hey this isn't active yet. And then once it become once these uh, form elements are filled out, then it becomes active. I think that's a nice little touch. Um, same thing here. You know, if there if there was a password error, I'm guessing I'm guessing in this instance because everything is kind of blocked off, it's probably showing up underneath, right? Um, I would like to would like to see it. I don't think that you actually have to use it in in the interface um but you should have you should have that thought out like okay so what is that error state like and you know we've talked about that we've talked about empty states we've talked about error states we've, you know we've talked about uh, feedback and when you get the feedback um so having that in the in the prototype somewhere and you may you you know this this little, you know, this little bit of microcopy, this helper text that comes along with these error states is also helpful to, you know, it's not just type, what does the type say? And you're gonna have other instances where microcopy is gonna come into play when you get over here into the shopping cart. And it looks like you've begun to put some work in on the shopping cart. Um, I don't know if you're necessarily done, but it, it certainly seems like there's, there's some movement happening over here. Um, it doesn't seem complete though. It looks like the, these elements are still in progress. Um, same for checkout, but it, it does seem like there's, there's some work that's happening. Um, obviously I, I think that you're, it looks like you're still working on the cards, which is fine. Um, yeah, this is the stuff that we were doing yesterday, so... Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that the, you know, the moves that you've made since we spoke yesterday, these, these are both very logical. I would just like to, to know what the error states are. Um, and otherwise full speed ahead, let's get back over here to these, you know, I really think that the, the, the menu page is pivotal, um, as is the, the carton checkout. And then once you get that like nailed down, like wire it together and start running some tests on it um there's there's no reason to like overbuild right um but at the same time you definitely want to make sure that what you've built is logical and function it makes sense to your testers so i would say i would say like good job over here let's get back over here and wrap this thing up okay all right, Rebecca's up next, and let's see here. Is this me? Yeah, I was doing some. I was doing some work last night on um, on my on my project on Circuit, and um, Rebecca's in here, and she's got. Let's see here. All the content is for the new site. Please make sure. That Okay. All right. So you've taken this down, I think. Looks like this is coming down. What is this like? 54 or six? Oh, it says it's still 60. Well, that looks like it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You changed it from 72, but you didn't change the size. This should be just 60. Boom. There it is. Okay. Um, well, that certainly feels better than the 72 you had before. Um, looks like you're going with Montserrat. You've got this H2, H3. It's a uh, very logical stair step flow. Um, get started, learn more. You know, it's easy to see what your process is there. This feels a lot better. Um, why Supermelon was so overpowering last time. Um, transaction process or blog. Um, seems like this is like two things. You know, it's like our, our blog. I mean, it could be it like that's like why why Supermelon. It seems like highlights from our weekly Supermelon is like a secondary. Like I, I don't want to like put put words in here, but you know, it's like is it like that? Yeah, some some sort of combination like that. It just seems like it 
it seems like that that's a tagline to our blog, not at the same level. Um, so something something that I would advise taking a peek at. Um, yeah, it looks like you followed that, which we talked about. Let's see what's going down down here with this. Yeah, okay. So you went through and you kind of shrunk those down and give it gave it a little space. That's good. Um, I also like the fact that you you decided that on these pages you didn't want the big image. I think it's so much easier to design for um, when you can when you you don't have to like say okay I'm going to put text over the top of every photo. That's like at some point you're going to get burned. You're not going to be able to find the photo that you need, or it's going to be it's going to be one of those things where the client wants it to auto update and they change it later and then you can't read it and it's a big pain in the ass. So I would. I would say like on the home page where you have control, great. But once you get out outside of that, this is the design that I would like to see. Um, looks a little deep here. I have, I have some concerns about whether this button's getting pushed off the page, um, which would be an issue. Um, so something to look out for there. Um, I'm always, always, um, leery of super wide or super tall photos um, so this is a spot where I'd be concerned like okay what is that image and you know I see sell to a larger enterprise and larger enterprise in fortune 500 but that image is so wide what is that image um, you got to know what that image is before you draw boxes in a shape like that okay um, I do like the seller benefits you've mentioned like the, the question of do you have blue icons and I think the answer is sure it would work well off the orange buttons so I, I personally don't have a problem with that I do wonder if um, if there's if it's that is it that super melon is it a little dark blue I don't know um, the about us that makes sense highlights from the newsletter so this gets you into like how that's going to display is there a is there this so this is highlights from the newsletter and this is popular headlines is there a is there a view all is there pagination like how deep is, does their newsletter go is it hundreds of posts is it dozens i don't know um is it 10 like maybe you only have one page maybe you have 10 pages i don't know this is where I would look at like some pagination down here so that if, if the person wanted to go to other posts, they could. Um, Supermillion Help Center, this is largely based on what we talked about yesterday. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, so in these services page and products page, so you come back and I'm guessing these are the these are two of the higher level pages. So you've come back and you brought back in these um, these large images, which I think is fine. You know, overall, I think this has this is striking the right tone, Rebecca. Um, I would just I would look out for areas like this, where that intro is so long that I'm worried about just get started getting pushed off the screen. I'm worried about areas like this where I got you know what is this image? What's coming in? And I think you've got another one right here. Like, um, you actually might. Images, offices, warehousing. Okay, so this when this is copied, and when I see like the language copied over and over, I get worried about this. So I would want to, I'd want to make sure we've we've identified like what's happening down here. These photos probably pretty easy to find. That one is going to be going to be challenging. Um, sa same thing here. I think you're probably okay. Um, but you know if anything i begin to wonder like is the is this too heavy with images like are we using too many um should there be a page where there's just one main and then you'd let the content breathe a little um rather than being so reliant on everything's got to have an image because at some point when you roll the dice this many times you're going to find a page that just oh wow there's no image for that there's no image for that one thing and then, and then it becomes a question of well, what do you do for the rest of it? So, so think about, and what I would challenge you to do is like, what is a template 
that looks a lot like this that doesn't have any images down here like what, what do you do do you just stack them side by side do you center them up like do you have maybe an, an image or two as you go down the page like think that through so that you have that option because right now you know, I see this little icon thing, but everything kind of has this side-by-side -side image, you know, going that almost checkerboard like. I I think you need to I think you need to have an option in your quiver for what happens when I don't have access to the right images, so that you can switch really fast. Um, that's the that's the one piece that I think is is really missing that that you could use, um, and you have something like it here but this is also the page that has that crazy wide letterbox photo that i'm like i don't know if you're gonna have anything for that okay um guess what folks i think we've covered it um i do want to check and make sure that i've addressed the questions looks like luigi uh is working on salad cards and customization pages today which is good uh rebecca typography sizes uh feedback images I should okay so images you should be looking for um, yeah I mean I, I think I kind of kind of went in there um, you know I think the sizing is fine here I, I would really try to lock down what these two specific images are being that they're so freaking wide um, and then I would really encourage you to figure out like an option that didn't wasn't so reliant on all of these um, so that you know as you come in the good news here is you've got content but what's the images what's the image I have for safe transactions you know is that um, is that a Brinks truck is it like like is it is it guards is like like what's the image that I'm using there and, and the fact of the matter is manufacturer verification like like is that like is that just a factory um also one thing i'll mention type typographically um like you've got this this set this paragraph text um you've got the the label this this needs to like hit a different note okay um and what i might suggest there is like this is where an italic might be nice at 20 So you're, you're coming in, it's like what it is, a little bit about it, and what why it's important. And each of those is a different job. And then, I gotta tell you, this gets started, it's super big. You know, this is where I think, you know, coming coming down with, you know, a secondary label, because these buttons, you're gonna get started, get started, get started, get started. You know, is this more of a read more for each of these, and it's more of a label instead of a button? Um, you know, payment and escrow is that like is that a bank vault is like yeah you know, it's, it's save investment so a lot of these are a lot of these images I believe are going to be um, representation they're not going to be literal images that are showing the thing you're talking about they're they're going to be abstractions okay so you're going to have to abstract away and say okay so what kind of says that? Um, when you're trying to brainstorm this, this, this might be a great place to do a, do a word cloud, if you will, like, okay, so payment, what, what are the things that all mean payment? What does escrow mean? What are some other words for escrow? And then begin searching for the terms that you're coming up with to begin generating image options for things like this. And again, this is a situation where if you can't find an image, like the, the route I would probably go is uh let's ditch this design let's go with um a, a one column or icons or big image no no images below like some sort of alternative to what you have okay so but i would i would definitely like land on the images before i say okay this is the design and we'll figure out the images later like find those images okay all right um ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for today's edition of the feedback loop i hope this has been beneficial for you it's always beneficial for me it's always a good time to spend uh, some time looking at your design work and uh, i hope we can do it again i um, i'm meeting with several of you later today but for the rest of you i hope to see you next time